must have a right to marry. Correct, Malut. Now, we are intensely aware of that. We are intensely aware of that. I'm, I'm... Suppose someone goes to a priest for performing a particular ritual. And priest says that as per my religion, it is only the husband and wife who can sit. A man and a woman who can sit in performance of that ritual. I will not be a party to it. So I am posing a question to myself. Would he not be guilty of contempt of your Lordship's declaration? Lord, during yesterday's dialogue, my Lord, it, were, it fell that there is a possibility of a declaration being made. Something less than marriage, but something more than the present status. Lord, having examined that, my Lord, why, my Lord, that may not be a correct course of action, my Lord. Lord, your Lordship's declaration would be a law within the meaning of Article 141, binding all, not just all courts, binding the whole nation. The difficulty would be this. Lord, any declaration of law would bind every individual in the country who is not before your Lordships. In case of a law, every individual is represented by his chosen representative. That is the first issue. Well, your Lordships are aware about the judgment in that baker's case, where my Lord, one baker refused to bake a cake in a same-sex marriage, and my Lord, he was prosecuted, etc. Similar thing happened, my Lord, after the judgment of the American Supreme Court, my Lord, 5 versus 4, one pester refused to perform the ceremony of marriage. And he was sought to be prosecuted, and they have to come out with a law, what is called, my Lord, the Pester Protection Act. Now, examine, my Lord, a situation where your Lordship declares the law. Your Lordships would obviously not be declaring the contours of the declaration, the regulatory powers, what will be the regulation, who will be bound, who will not be bound. Suppose someone goes to a priest for performing a particular ritual, and priest says that as per my religion, it is only the husband and wife who can sit, a man and a woman who can sit in performance of that ritual. I will not be a party to it. So I am posing a question to myself. Would he not be guilty of contempt of your Lordship's declaration? See, that's a matter of that priest's fundamental right to Lord, follow his conscience and faith. Lord, where that conscience stops See, and where his duty where, ends or where. begins. So that's where, solicitor, what is the kind of form, content, and contours of the declaration is important. Correct. We are all presuming yes, that the declaration will be in the form of a writ that grant yes, this yes, or grant that. This is what we are accustomed to. What I was hinting was, as a constitutional court, we recognize only a state of affairs and draw the limit to there and say... I am grateful, my Lord. My worry was this. Whenever, my Lord, a declaration is made either by legislature or by the court, legislature has the wherewithal to regulate the fallout. Your Lordships would not be able to, first of all, foresee, envisage, comprehend, and thereafter deal with the fallout of that declaration. Fallout can be manifold in various facets of life. In you various, you know, the... saying that any declaration of this court will really, in that sense, Yes. Apply to everyone individual in the nation and preempt the legislature from considering. No, 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 I am slightly on a different point. It may not even preempt the legislature. Legislature can still do something. But that would be, my lord, and for that, my lord, I would, my lord, one paragraph I am tempted to read from, my lord, uh, this uh, Obersfell judgment, my lord. We, that's okay. We'll, we'll no, only one para, my lord, for my satisfaction. Tell us the para number, that's all. No, that's I, I, I would wish, my lord, your lordship, read. It's, it won't take more than two minutes. It's 2463. 2463, volume four of the petitioner's compilation. For my satisfaction, please have a look. And this angle, my lord, is missed by all of us. And we also, my lord, feel that there would be some disservice, as Chief Justice Roberts points out, Lord, to the petitioners. And therefore, Lord, I wish to read it. Lord, kindly have a look at 2463. Just read I'll just read. Lord. When decisions are reached through de democratic means, some people will inevitably be disappointed with the result. But those whose views do not prevail at least know that they had their say and accordingly are, in the tradition of our political culture, reconciled to the result of a fair and honest debate. In addition, they can gear up to raise the issue later 
hoping to persuade enough on the winning side to think again. That is exactly how our system of governance is supposed to be. But today the court puts a stop to all that. Well, this is what in my submission the declaration would mean. But today the court puts a stop to all that. By deciding this question under the constitution, the so, court removes it. It's very important that you read that. What is put out there is, yes. the Chief Justice is uh, highlighting that the declaration that they have a right to marry. What was that? Justice Kennedy declared that gay couples have a right to marry. Correct, Malux. Now, we are intensely aware of that. We are intensely aware of that. I am grateful, Malux. Can you alert something further, which is on a slightly different point? Therefore, I would like to read it fully, Malur. There will be consequences to shutting down the political process on an issue of such profound public significance. Closing debate tends to close minds. People denied a voice are less likely to accept the ruling of a court on an issue that does not seem to be the sort of thing courts usually decide. As a thoughtful commentator observed, about another issue, the political process was moving not swiftly enough for advocates of quick, complete change, but majoritarian institutions were listening to and acting. Kindly avoid Malod, the uh, citation part. This is crucial and this is another dimension which Ju Chief Justice Robert gives. Malod. Indeed, however, please note this, indeed, however, heartened the proponents of same-sex marriage might be on this day, it is worth acknowledging what they have lost. From their point of view, the court says, indeed, however, Hatton, the proponents of same-sex marriage might be on this day, it is worth acknowledging that they have lost and lost forever. The opportunity to win the true acceptance that comes from persuading their fellow citizens of the justice of their cause. And they lose this just when the winds of change were freshening at their backs. Thank you, Mr. Sivasana. My Lord, only last, my Lord, it's my duty, my Lord, therefore I'm pointing out. My Lord, at the outset, I said that we have written letters to the state governments. My Lord, there are seven responses. I'm not reading them. From Manipur, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Assam, Sikkim, and Rajasthan. I'm placing them on that we have examined it and we are op opposed to the position. Lord, with the petitioners are taking, all rest say that this needs a very intense and expansive debate and we would not be able to respond immediately. My Lord, we have received this. I will, my Lord, file it on in the, in the registry with copies to the other side, my Lord. So, my Lord, these are my uh, closing submissions, but yes. I am just putting it on record, my Lord. Uh, I am not reading them. They are one and a half page closing submissions, my Lord, I will place it on record.